Okay, we are going to talk about how to assemble the chair, and we're going to focus on the seat portion of the chair. So we're going to go to Inventor, open that up, I'm going to go to New, and we already have our parts, our three parts. We have our rail, parts A, and parts B. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an assembly. up and then we're gonna go up here to place and we're gonna find where our parts are and they should be in a folder double chair and seat and it's gonna highlight parts A parts B in the rail open them up Left-clicking a couple times. Click OK. So I need, these are my part A's, so they're my small parts. I have one, uh, two of those, two of these. Actually, I need three of these. So let's go to place. B and open. Perfect. Right-click. OK. All right. So now we have exactly what we need to get started. First thing is we're going to uh, deal with the rails. So how we do that is we constrain. Okay, so click on constrain, and there's two things we're going to be using a lot here, mate and flush, and also we're going to work with our offsets. So what we do is we're going to actually take the chair itself, the, the real chair, not this one, and we're going to measure the distance between the two rails. And since we've already done that, I know it's it's 12 and 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to do mate. I'm going to click the inside of both of these. Okay, it's going to put them right together, but we're going to tell it, hey, listen, we want to do an offset of 12 and 3, 8. Click apply and see what happens. Okay, now it just kind of took it and turned that for us. Not a big deal. Um, what we can do is if this happens to us, we can always just turn it the way that we want it. And we can actually click on here, right click and go set current view as top. All right, so it's really not that, that bad. All right, so. Now that we have these two separated, what we want to do is we want to uh, flush the ends so that they are even with each other. So if I zoom in here, zoom out, zoom in here, see how that kind of puts them so that they're flush, now they're flush together. Okay, we're going to apply that, and now we're going to flush the tops. Flush, flush, apply. So now we have all three axes exactly where, where we want them. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to click cancel. We're going to right click on either one of the, uh, the rails and we're going to go to grounded. So we're just going to ground the rail. That just prevents them from moving on us. We don't want them to move too much. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to attach, and I'm going to go to my top view for this one. Uh, top view. Okay, we're going to attach uh, our small little rails, our little rail first, and then we're going to do our bigger ones. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mate the top surface of our, our rails to the bottom surface of of uh, part A. So we go to constrain, nope. constrain, we go to mate. And this is the top, and this is the bottom. Go to apply. Do the same thing for this one. Top of this. I gotta zoom our zoom ourself around. Bottom of this. And go to apply. Okay. You might be saying, hey, it's not moving. Yeah, I understand that, but watch what we do. We're going to go to flush, and we're going to flush this end to this end. 
Okay, it's getting a little bit better. See how we flushed it? Hit apply, and now what we're going to do is we're going to flush this end to this end, but we want it to hang over a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to offset and type in one. Now it moved in the correct direction. If you're looking, it actually moved to where we want the offset to be. But if it didn't work, if it went the opposite way, you can always just put a negative sign in front of in front of that uh, the one. Okay. So one hit apply, and there you go. There's our first piece right on there. Um, what you can do is you can also go to flush, and you can just flush this to the top if you want, just to make sure that everything's straight. Okay. If you get something like this. Um, just go to cancel the operation. That just means you've over constrained something. Okay, not a big deal. Just always hit cancel. Do not hit accept. All right. The next thing we want to do is let's just get rid of this real quick. Is we want to put on our other pieces on here. So um, let's do strain. And we're going to mate. Okay, we're already on mate. We're going to mate this surface with this surface. Click apply. Now we're going to flush this surface with this surface and an offset of one inch, because that's how far it should hang over. Click apply. And constrain, flush the side this side. Again, I've over constrained it, so I'm just going to do cancel the operation. Not a big deal. Um, that means that it's already constrained as far as it can be. One thing I do want to do is, though, I do want to mate this to this. And what we want to do is we don't want them to be right next to each other, so we want to have an offset of, and I'm going to say half an inch. Um, yours could be different. Yours could be 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.6. I'm just going to say half an inch just for simplicity and hit apply. All right, uh, the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mate this to this. Hit apply. I'm going to offset this. I'm going to, I'm sorry, flush this to this with an offset of 1. Okay, see how that went the opposite way? So let's do a negative 1. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to mate this to this with an offset of 0 0.5. Click Apply. Gonna mate again. We're gonna mate this to this. Apply. We're going to do a we're gonna flush from here to here. I'm gonna say one. That's good. We're gonna mate this to this. Offset of 0.5. Enter. And then we're going to finish up by mating this to this. Okay. Uh, we're going to do apply. And look, that's kind of like this little funky the way it's sitting there. Not a problem. We'll mate this to this. Okay. An offset of 0.5. Let's do a flush from here to here, an offset of one, click apply, and let's just take a look at this really quick. Let's just see how this whole thing looks. If I look down this, does anything look like it's off? It actually looks pretty good. Um, if you want to, if you're not sure, if you have something that might be a little bit off, you can always just go ahead and um, like flush your tops to each other if it'll let you do that. Sometimes you'll get the, you know, the over constraint error. If I try it again, it might give me the over constraint error. All right, uh, here to here. All right, it should actually be pretty, um, it should be on there okay, but sometimes you miss a constraint or something along the way and you just need to make a correction. All right, and this is how you make the seat portion of the seat, if you will. And thanks for
for watching.